Wow, I'm done. You guys talking all this crap. I know what y'all about to say. Zeke wasn't playing. Zeke wasn't playing. We were blowing them out. Zeke was, a, was playing. No excuses. Y'all said, well, even without Zeke, Dak is going to prove to everybody that he can carry this team without Zeke. He did not prove that at all. He, well, I mean, he was the only one on the Cowboy, on the team, that scored a touchdown. He was the only one who scored a touchdown during the Falcons. Falcons just obliterated them. All right. Shout out to that Falcons defense, though. They did good. They did very good. Especially that dude, um, Kamar, uh, Kamara, I think that's his name. His name. He did good. He was good, man. He was good. He's definitely a defensive player of the week. Falcons, I mean, Matt Ryan, he looked good. And he threw an interception, but heck, that didn't, that didn't save the Cowboys at all. And it's like, dang, man. It's like, that defense, um, they, uh, it's like, it's like, it's like, here's the thing. Some defenses can look like absolute crap if they lose their one good player. That's what happened to the Cowboys, man. I forgot that dude's name, but that defense was crap for a while. Oof. During the rest of the game, when that dude went out, like, they were absolute crap. It's like, man, I don't know. But all you Cowboys fans talking all this crap, y'all gonna be on my comment sec in my comment section. There's talking more excuses, more excuses, more excuses. Well, keep them up, keep them up, cause I want to show you guys, cause I want to show you guys out, cause you guys just, you guys just, <laughs> no excuses. You guys said that that I can do it, that I can do it. He can, he can, he can carry a team without. He can carry a team without um, Zeke. <sighs> this dude. And it's like the entire offense was trash. And I'm supposed to think this is a threat to the Cow threat to the Eagles or any or to the Redskins without Zeke too. I'm done. Y'all still gonna be y'all still gonna beat the Giants. Don't get me wrong. Y'all still gonna beat the Giants too. But against the Eagles and the Redskins. <sighs> Redskins are still fighting for dear life at this point, but still, man, at this point, you guys are going to be fighting for dear life too. And if, here's the thing: the eagle, if the Eagles, if, if the Eagles beat you guys next week, y'all ain't taking the NFC East. Y'all ain't taking this division, okay? And if y'all, and I'm gonna say this: if y'all lose this game to the Eagles, y'all ain't making the playoffs. Y'all ain't making the playoffs. I'm done. Y'all ain't making the playoffs for crap. And it's like. At this point, it's like I actually thought for a while I thought the Falcons were gonna blow that lead for a while, but they got their crap together and this ended the game, got and got the win. Man, this, this is gonna be so. This is gonna be so funny, and everybody out there, um, big big D, um, Philly five hundred, Desert Eagle ninety, Spunky nine nineteen ninety one. Uh, I can't wait to see you guys see your guys videos already. Right. Obviously, I think Philly Five Hundred is live right now, but yeah, I can't wait to see how you guys reacted to this. Cause like, <laughs> by the way, Mark Holmes, I'm pretty sure there's a video saying Mark Holmes. You were saying that, oh well, oh well, art season isn't over without Zeke. We're still gonna be good. <laughs> Wow, how long has that backfired? I know what y'all about to say too. We still have five Super Bowls. <laughs> Man, Cowboys, you guys are done.